And the same thing when you go to load it, guys, gravity is going to be your friend. If you try to load like this, you're going to have to manually insert the cartridges and push them home versus gravity is your friend. Make it simple, guys. It always works. Simple works. Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, and I'd like to show you some techniques on how to load and unload a revolver. Okay, we're going to talk about the parts associated with loading and unloading a revolver. Of course, you have the cylinder release, you push it forward, and you open the cylinder, and you have the ejector rod, and that's used to expel either the spent cartridges or the loaded rounds you haven't fired. So, there you have it, you come back around, load it, and close it fully, and you're ready to go. Okay guys, we're going to talk about the two cartridges that can be fired in a revolver, and what I have here is an example of both. One has a rim and one is rimless. These cartridges were made for semi-automatic pistols and these of course were made for revolvers. The big difference is on a truly rimless cartridge you need a moon clip, either synthetic or metal, to attach it so when you put it into the, into the cylinder it has something to extract it from and it also holds it in a nice little package. So you have moon clips and you have traditional rim cartridges. So we're going to start with the rimless cartridges and the model 625 revolver which is one of my favorites. So what you have to remember to fire these cartridges and, and to extract them, you're going to need a moon clip. I have one here made out of metal. Uh, they're easy to load, so I'm going to go ahead and load you one right quick. There's different tools you can buy actually to load these clips, but uh, I find manual works just fine. So we've got six rounds of fixed in the clip, and of course the beauty part about this, they all go in in one time and they extract all in one package. It's a real tidy, real tidy setup for a revolver. And we're going to go to a rim cartridge. There's several ways to load one. I have one set up here for a speed loader, of course. It's six rounds of fixed in a speed loader. You can put it in the cylinder, turn the knob like this on this model, and you have six rounds loaded. If you want to load singly, of course, you have that feature because the cartridge is a rim, and they hit space on the rim themselves and not on the moon clip. So you have six. You can put in six. And what's one of the advantages of a rim cartridge, if I fire just one round and I just want to extract that, you can do that and load it with the fresh round, or you can, of course, extract all six. I'd like to go over some techniques on how to load and unload a moon clip and also a uh, rim cartridge. What you want to realize when you fire a cartridge, no matter, what, no matter the manufacturer, you might have unburned powder. So what I try to do after I shoot and I go to load, I always want the muzzle pretty much straight up and down. And when I hit the ejector rod, I want this to fall away from the gun instead of like this. Because when you extract in this position, you can get contamination under the extractor. And when you go to close the revolver, the double action gets very hard because you've trapped a lot of material between the cylinder and the, and the extractor rod. And when you go to shoot it, it's going to be very tight. So to lessen that effect, you always keep the muzzle up. And the same thing when you go to load it, guys. Gravity is going to be your friend. So I try to get this muzzle position pretty much... As, as down as I can. That way gravity is working with you. If you try to load like this, you're going to have to manually insert the cartridges and push them home versus gravity is your friend. Make it simple, guys. It always works. Simple works. I thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.